Hi folks, this is Bart Valchak from creativeimpatience.com and today I will show you how to use the feather crop plugin that I wrote for Premiere Pro to feather your crop selection. Uh, first we have to find the plugin, so let me let me feather in the search box and apply the plugin to the clip. This icon here means the plugin has the GUI and if you click here you can resize, you can easily crop this little circle is a unified feather control. You can easily adjust all the feather values at once. If you want to be more selective, why not? You can then correct your initial choice. If you're happy with that, then uh, let me show you on my old machine, Intel Quad Core Q9550, the generation before first iCore processors. Uh, I get the smooth playback, uh, even though it wants to render No frames were dropped uh, at half resolution. At full resolution I would have uh, frames dropped, but it's a pretty small window anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Next, if you want, you can have it crop the inside of your footage. That's perfectly fine as well. And the last setting uh, for today is uh, the alpha falloff. The default is the linear, uh, which is acceptable, but if you want the best look, you choose Gaussian and you can adjust it a little more because it's different. It looks much, much better. No banding, no problems on the corners and so on. And the other options like exponential, uh, quadratic, cubic are fine as well. Gamma, it depends. It works on some footage. Uh, it doesn't work uh, on another, so uh, use it with caution. And uh, you're good to go. Remember to visit www.creativeimpatience.com for additional plugins and my thoughts on the matter of editing and visual effects. If you find these plugins useful, I appreciate the donations. Thanks and bye.